Introducing the Walther P38, a semi-automatic pistol designed by Carl Walther in 1938. It was one of the most technologically advanced firearms of its time and was used by the German military during World War II. Trigger bar and trigger are connected. As a result, when the trigger is pulled, the trigger bar moves a little forward. Trigger bar is linked to the sear, allowing it to grab the sear. The hammer, which is attached to the sear, is released. Hammer strikes the firing pin, which strikes the cartridge's primer and ignites the gunpowder to fire the bullet. The energy produced by the fired cartridge is used to release the barrel from the slide. The extractor carries an empty cartridge. Cartridge hit the ejector and ejected out from the barrel. As the slide moves forward again, it picks up a new cartridge from the magazine and chambers it in the barrel. The Walther P38 does have a decoker, which lowers the hammer. When you lower the safety lever, the hammer release rotates, causing the sear to move up and release the hammer. The hammer strikes the firing pin, but it cannot move due to the safety lever. This is the safe mode of this pistol. When we switch the safety lever to the firing mode, the sear is released. Because of the spring tension on the sear, it became stuck between the double action lever and the hammer, allowing the trigger to go into double action trigger pull. In this position, the trigger must be fully pressed once and then pressed again to fire. First time you pull the trigger, the double action lever causes the hammer to go into fire mode. So you may have this pistol always in fire mode with one round in the barrel. The pistol will not fire in any accidental fall. This gun has one extra safety feature as well. Even when the trigger and hammer are in double action mode and the gun is in fire mode, the firing pin is secured by the firing pin safety, which drops after the first trigger pull due to the firing pin safety lever. Now firing pin is ready to hit the primer. Such animated videos required a lot of work to create. Because I am a one-man army, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. Then leave a comment about the next animation you wish to see.